This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Full Sail University. Steven wrote in, looking for help rooting his Galaxy S3. He says, hello, Patrick, Veronica, and Robert. I am interested in rooting my Galaxy S3 Verizon phone, but I don't know where to start. I was wondering if you could give me some advice on how to safely do this. Specifically, one, how do I back up the phone so that if something bad happens, I can revert it back to its original state prior to rooting it? Two, are there th guides specific to my phone that I can follow to accomplish rooting it successfully? Three, what resources can you recommend that I can use as a reference? Any advice or recommendations would be appreciated. Thanks, Steve. Mr. Heron, what is the rooting? Uh, rooting basically gives you low-level access permissions to your system files on the phone so that you can do things like remove the bloatware that your carrier installed or even completely change the operating system if you want to. For example, if your carrier hasn't updated your operating system and you're still running 2.1 in a 4.2 world, you could root your phone and put an updated version of the delicious Android operating system on totally. there? Totally. And yes. I mean, for me, it was just about getting rid of apps I didn't want. Also, there could be programs you want to run that require that kind of access mm -hmm. to the phone. So if you're getting a little more experimental, you're going to have to root it. But your first step should be checking out a site called the XDA Developers Forum. So Bookmark the section specific to your, not only your phone, but your cell service provider. Uh, there, there is pretty much for every phone made out there right now, there is a section just for you on the XDA Developers site. Now, before getting started, backing up is a good idea. If you go into the process with the expectation that you will lose all of your files, then you'll be more prepared if something goes awry. <laughs> uh, in reality, the SD partition in the phone will probably be fine as far as the data goes, but you're most likely, most likely going to lose all of your app data. But back up everything anyway, just in case. I'm just saying, back up your phone. Just do it. <laughs> I mean, personally, I, I backed up everything, and it turned out I never really needed that backup going forward. But it because was nice to have that in the back of my mind doing this for the first time. Right. Now, a tool to back up your phone without needing to root it at all Use the Android Developer Bridge. Now, here's a great site, Holo Backup. Being able to do this without needing to root your phone is great, because then you have that full backup ready to go, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, but once you're done, you can get to the fun part, and basically, <laughs> custom, root that sucker, unlock it, put a new bootloader in if you want to. And going this way, you can get pretty dirty with it. Now, it's critical, though, to make sure you apply the correct file to a particular phone. Don't try to use an AT&T specific package on a Verizon phone and vice versa. This could possibly brick the phone and make it completely unusable, although you can usually recover even from that too. But once you're rooted, you're free to keep the existing Samsung software, or you can delve into the world of custom ROMs, which are essentially a complete OS replacement that we mentioned earlier. Most Rudy guides have the instructions to install custom recoveries that make installing the ROMs a snap, but we won't go quite into that with this right now. Uh, <laughs> just to say the bottom line really is... The not your first time. Not your first time, at least. Right. The, you should learn how to back up the phone, number one. And then from that point forward, the guides specific to your phone and your provider are the way to go. And the XDA forums has great guides for not only rooting the phones with supplemental video Ooh. guides as well. And if you run into a problem, just take a deep breath and know that at least someone else out there has already made that same mistake, <laughs> and they've already posted how to fix it in the forums. So do yourself a favor, search the forums thoroughly before making any adjustments to your phone, and really make sure you're dealing with the correct file names and versions for the phone and the software packages you're dealing with. This sounds like something you do on a lazy Saturday afternoon if you yeah. don't have to call your girlfriend at seven. That's like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 it seems like you want. Do you want a day to do this? Do you want a couple hours to do yeah. this the first time? You I shouldn't mean, be. You should not be without. If, if your phone's the only contact you have and this is your only device for communicating with the world, make sure you're not in a hurry uh, <laughs> so that you can take your time. And if this totally fails, you know, you might need a backup for a couple hours until you get it going again. So, plan ahead when you're doing that sort of thing. But haul a backup. Follow the instructions on the developer's page. That said, I, I have totally torched my phone a couple of times, totally undid it all, put it right back together. And it, it, once you do it once, it gets you over the hump. And it's really not that bad. And if you really want to clean up the software load on your phone, I don't know of any other way to do it. And, and it's kind of fun to do, too. And it, it feels cleaner. And I have the latest Android software, which, like you mentioned, my AT&T provider on my phone, not Verizon anyway, they, they told me to do this. Well, in a roundabout way. <laughs> And in a roundabout way, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. The mobile app industry is on fire right now, and Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skill set you need to take advantage of those emerging opportunities. And you'll learn the programming and business sides of mobile development so that you can concept, develop, deploy, and market an application from start to finish. 
You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app development for iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail's Project LaunchBox program, students receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience that's unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded with no signs of slowing down. If you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash techzilla to learn more about this online degree program.